This might have been the play of the year, and maybe the past few years for the Boston Celtics specifically. Of course, it's the play everyone's talking about right now, an exhilarating finish to one of the best first round games of all time, no question, a classic. But let's also talk about the plays leading up to it. Not only the two for one, but you see this little decoy action going on between Al Horford and Jason Tatum up there? Look at the two defenders it takes out of the paint. Their best paint protectors in Nick Claxton, Kevin Durant. You left with three guys who are 6'3 or shorter in the paint. That's food right there. Then you get this amazing display of team defense from three of the team's better defenders. Marcus Smart, Defensive Player of the Year, by the way. Al Horford and Jason Tatum, who does not get enough credit. The double on Kyrie, forcing him to pass out to Kevin Durant with just a few seconds on the clock. And Jason Tatum absolutely stonewalls this dude. And then... They're heading the other way for the play that is like a microcosm of what this team is all about this year. Trusting each other and making the right play. Jalen Brown not forcing the issue on trying to take two guys to the rim, doesn't force a jumper on the turnaround either, passes out to a wide open Marcus Smart who any other year, maybe even earlier this year, would have shot this three. No, instead taps into his point guard brain like he has been, dribbles into the paint while again there's only six three guys down there. And Tatum making the perfect cut, a cut that he would not have made earlier this season either so Marcus Smart could find him right on the money. If you're gonna fault Marcus smart for not making those passes before you also got to talk about guys on the team not making those cuts before there was no one to pass to and then you get the sweet game winning layup from jason tatum to cap off an amazing game that footwork on the spin come on now presence of mind perfectly placed if this is any indicator of how this series is gonna go whew, buckle up